Oh dear! Happy Halloween! This took a little longer than I expected, but all in all, not bad for a simple Halloween makeup look. I am Becky and I run Bella Rose Kisses by Becky here. And you can sit back, relax, and learn how to do this look using some very simple makeup products. Dear Makeup begins with our Silk Primer and Pore Minimizer. I set that on there, oh, 10-ish minutes ago, and I'm letting it dry. By letting it dry, it fills in your fine lines, wrinkles, pores, all those fun things, and gives you a chance to have a smooth palette when you're applying your makeup. This is Buff Make Sense Foundation. I'm just going to apply this like normal. On a regular day when I was doing my makeup, I would be um, covering up my freckles and doing some other fancy stuff. But today we're gonna be a deer and we're going to a Zulu, so this is what we're gonna do. Let me tell you, this brush, I cleaned it yesterday. It's amazing how well your makeup applies when you have clean brushes and a clean face, of course. I'm curious what you all are being for Halloween this year. I don't even know what I'm gonna be for the day of Halloween. <laughs> this is all fun stuff ahead of time. This is our white concealer, color corrective concealer. I'm gonna take a pump of it. I have to say a dab of that and a little tiny pump of my buff, which I already used. And I'm gonna do this down in this area. This is a, something that I do on a daily basis, but look a little different today. The idea when you're doing this with regular makeup is to brighten your face, maybe slightly change the, the shape of your face, or I should say the appearance of the shape of your face. You can do a lot with contouring and brightening and highlighting. Okay. This is one of my favorite brushes. It's flat. And all I'm doing is kind of putting that into place so it doesn't go anywhere. This is called stippling. You just kind of pack it in there, so to speak. Our makeup is non comeogenic. I can't even say it right. Bottom line doesn't clog your pores. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use my medium deep color correcting tinted moisturizer. Other options you would have would be Mocha Java Shadow Sense, Mocha Java Shimmer Shadow Sense, Candy Cocoa Shimmer Shadow Sense, um, deep concealer, medium concealer perhaps, and then of course deep and medium deep. Uh, color correcting tinted moisturizer and if you had some of our deeper foundations that would work too I'm gonna take I'm gonna start with a pump up here This is a color that obviously I don't use on a daily basis. I have it for contouring and things like this because this is way past my skin shade as you can tell now I already have my hair done, so I kind of like to get it up there in my hair a little bit. I almost feel like I could even go deeper with this. But I will look in a minute in a mirror because what I see in here and what you guys see are two different things. So again, this is still color correcting tinted moisturizer. It's just one shade darker than I already did. If you've never used our color correcting tinted moisturizer, it blends really nice. Of course, I keep getting my hair in it because ultimately it's a tinted moisturizer. My brows, I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just gonna do rustic brown. This is a color I would use on a regular basis. Just gonna take a little bit off the wand there. So one brow.
Now I always do that brow really, really well and the second brow is a hot mess, so hold tight. Okay, so more deep color correcting tinted moisturizer. Start up here. This is that brush that I had the white on. What I'm going to do is do this again. back with this brush and I'm gonna put on some pearlizer right here to highlight this I'm gonna use a little flat brush like this here comes a child hi Max I'm getting there. Okay, there you guys go. An expert opinion. I do not look like a deer yet. If you need makeup advice, take it from a four-year-old. Because <laughs> they are brutally honest. I'm a deer, so I'm going to add a little more fertilizer. All I'm doing is pressing it into place. These flat brushes are great for that. Oh, and the cat's back, you guys. <laughs> I feel like a circus today. So do this and blend this into place. All I'm trying to do is get it here in the crease of my lid and then I'm going to cover it up with candy coat with shimmer. I'm not going to do a ton on my eyes because the focus is not my eyes. The focus is this and the dots. You may not see a lot of this, but it'll be there. Depends on how much I blend the candy cocoa shimmer. All I'm doing is following whatever bone that is in my eye. And on me, I found that they're kind of shaped differently. So I have to be cautious of that when I'm doing my makeup because sometimes they don't match on the first run through. Sometimes I just go with it. But apparently these little bones, whatever they're called, eye sockets, I have no idea, are not shaped the same on my head. Eyes, whatever. Obviously I don't have a medical background. <laughs> Words are my thing. And videos. <laughs> Who knew that when I started in fifth grade doing broadcasting, I had dreams of being a TV news anchor, which I used to be, <laughs> that I uh, would do makeup for fun and videos. I love life. It takes cool places. Okay. This is one that I've taken the stopper out so you can get more out of your stuff. I'm just gonna pick it up off of there. And try to get this all covered. And I will eventually grab a mirror and look at it. Because everything looks different on your phone camera. happy with that again when you're doing Halloween looks like this depending on where you want the focus to be sometimes eyes can be super simple like you don't need to overthink the eyes if you have a lot going on in other places so I'll let that dry for a second and I'm going to work on my nose 
We're going to start here. You can see. You know what? And a cute kitten look. I think I got most of it done with just the wand. Black long lasting eyeliner pencil. I am going to use my mirror for this. That's a smudgy brush. This is a primer to help your lashes look fabulous. Don't poke your toe in the eye. That hurts. There you go, dear. Have nice lashes. Okay, I think we have a winner. Oh, yeah. It could be smaller. But, this will work. Actually, I kind of like those. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Again, we have options. There's, I'm using white concealer. You could use snow shadow scents. Honestly, you could do this look if you had just your regular foundation, a deeper colored foundation, shadow sense, whatever, to do the, the brown area and then with the white and then your eyes can be something as simple as this. You don't have to do the nose thing and you could, that'd be like the simplest Halloween costume ever. I'm gonna have to get a refill. My white's getting a little light so I need to add some more concealer. And of course I'm gonna let this dry before I put any powder on it. Now, if you're going to use your hand as a palette, like I am, hold on, like this, make sure your hands are washed. I like to wash my hands before I do my makeup for the day. Kind of screwed that one up, but oh well. Now I'm gonna take these and just kind of pat them so that any little like imperfections are slightly blurred. This is Witch Hazel and the reason you use it is because as you're applying your makeup, you get stuff on your lips. Lip Sense is a molecular bond, so this gunk is staying in between your Lip Sense and your lips and a really good bond. Okay. This is hazelnut. It's actually a very pretty color. It's not my everyday color, but it works. Okay, almost done. 
frosting to finish this, and some powder. Yeah, I'm gonna wait, I think. A little bit here. Cream. Matte. This one is kind of time consuming, but again, not that difficult. All of the Halloween looks that I've tried to do this year were like low skill level because um, I didn't want to have to like learn to do crazy things. <laughs> but you guys can do this too. My witch one was super easy, but this one was easy too. So I started out with a regular concealer, I'm sorry, regular foundation. So I used my Buff Make Sense foundation. And then I did a combination of medium deep color correcting tinted moisturizer along with some deep color correcting tinted moisturizer. And that kind of like contoured my face, so to speak. Uh, on my eyes, I have Onyx in the crease, and then I have uh, Candy Cocoa Shimmer over top of that, because again, if you are doing a makeup look and you have a lot going on in other places, your eyes don't need to be like super out there. They can be simple because people are looking at the other part of your face. Um, obviously I have on black eye sense, long lasting eyeliner pencil. I have on our under scents for my mascara and then, thank you Elaine, um, and then uh, my black waterproof mascara. I have on rustic brown on my brows. This is white concealer. I use the cap of a shadow sense container to tap it into place. Oh, I also had on some pearlizer here too, along with some white uh, white concealer, white color corrective concealer and buff mix to like lighten this area. This is Onyx. A lot of the deer looks that you'll see on Pinterest connect it down here with black to right here, and then the top lip is black, and the bottom is either brown or pink. I just wanted to do this. I didn't like the black thing, so um, so that's all we have. And then I'm gonna give it a little more time to dry, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more powder on it just to set it. But for the most part, this should be no budge, no smudge. If you enjoyed this look, there are a few more here on Bella Rose Kisses by Becky. Feel free to watch some other videos since you stopped by anyway. Also, if you would like any of the products that you saw in this video, they are available 24 seven at www.senegents.com slash Bella Rose Kisses. So that's S-E-N-E-G-E-N-C-E.com slash Bella Rose Kisses. You can put anything in your cart all the time <laughs> and you can join our kiss and tell program and get 10% off every single order. Isn't that amazing? Also, if you'd like to see these videos long before I have time to edit them, go to facebook.com slash groups slash Bella Rose Kisses and you can see everything in real time. So thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it.